Hi and welcome to this explanation of the NLP journey. Several people have been asking me in the past few days about what is the journey through NLP as you learn the different modules. So I thought I'd uh, take it as an opportunity to just give a little bit more explanation about it in this video blog. So generally when people first encounter NLP, they understand it in the form of NLP coaching. So obviously NLP is an amazingly powerful set of tools to rewire the brain. So whether we're looking at trying to overcome habits, we've got negative emotions or limiting beliefs we want to deal with, maybe uh, we've got trauma in the past or we want to look forward to motiv motivating ourselves towards achieving goals in life, we often come across this area of NLP coaching. And NLP coaching is to help us resolve the problems that we're having in our life right now. Now, if you've been blown away by NLP coaching or you've really had a chance to experience it, you may be interested in going on and becoming an NLP practitioner yourself. So the base level of training to become an NLP certified practitioner is the NLP practitioner training. And this training helps you learn the techniques that the coaches were perhaps using on you before and allows you to learn them to help yourself. So now that you are empowered to take full control of your own mind. So that way, by knowing the techniques yourself, you can apply them whenever you need to on yourself, but also you can assist those people around you. So NLP practitioners are able to assist their kids, their family members, their friends, their social life. And many of them may be able to, if they're acting as mentors, help people at work, that sort of thing, and begin a base level of coaching. Now, the next step in learning NLP is the NLP Master Practitioner Training. And this takes our NLP skills to that next level. So it significantly extends your NLP skills and gives you a far greater confidence and of course skill set to deal with uh, people through coaching. So people who want to extend themselves and become a life coach often will go to that next step because you're able to coach people not only with their habits and their behaviors, which is considered very useful, but a sort of a more manifest way of coaching, but also deep in with regards to their values and the way they see themselves at their identity level and their purpose of life. And it's at that level that you create massive change within people. So that is the master practitioner training, taking them to deeper and deeper levels of change. Now many people are totally satisfied in being a master practitioner and helping people work one-on-one -on -one with the issues that they're dealing with. And you can make a very nice, fun, profitable business out of being a master coach in a particular niche that suits you. But for those people that want to extend in business and go from the one-to-one -one model to the one-to-many model, then the next step in NLP trainer is the trainer's training. Now, obviously, if you want to become a trainer in NLP, then this is the course for you. But actually, only a small number of the people who do the trainer's training actually go on to be NLP trainers. Most of them are looking to expand into their own particular niche and become an expert and start making presentations on those particular skills. So first and foremost, the NLP trainers training is to give you the presentation skills so your performance in front of groups of people becomes magnetic and influential and how to use things like stage anchors and group anchoring and things like that to really get your uh, audience in the palm of your hand so you can deliver the most effective presentation ever. But also the NLP trainers training is about learning how to package up your particular offerings so that they're attractive to the market, knowing how to put a set of teachings or trainings or things together that you can then market 
to your particular audience. So overall, the NLP trainers training is about how to run your business profitably. And the key things are being able to influence and magnetize people to your products and then having those products uh, in a very nicely packaged way so that they're easy for the customer to say, yes, that's what I want to take myself to the next level, whether that's um, coaching services or online trainings or whatever. So there we have it, the four different steps that you might take along the NLP journey, depending, of course, how far you want to go. If you just want to get over some things in your life, then coaching. If you want to learn the skills yourself for self-development, then practitioner training. For the next step, we go to master practitioner training to become a powerful coach, and finally, the trainer's training. I hope you enjoyed that little brief explanation of the NLP journey.